to share a very quick word with you here on this wonderful Sunday morning here for us. I'm not sure what day you'll be watching this video. Maybe today, maybe a later day. But anyways, I wanted to encourage you. How ought we to pray in faith? The Lord just began to reveal to me that, um, goodness gracious, many of us, and myself included in the body of Christ too many times, get off um, balance when it comes to praying for needs. We either hear about a need, hey Deanna, we hear about a need or we have a need in our own life. My boys are going to be jumping in the car, so hopefully they'll be. Y'all be quiet for a minute, okay? Yes, we're Okay. To sneak. So anyways, we hear about a need or we have a need and it's a pressing matter. And maybe it's a huge, what we would consider a huge need. Hey Sarah, hey Michael. And the Lord showed me how many times even those of us that know about faith that know about the Word of God become overwhelmed by situations and circumstances and all that he wants to do today through this message is to encourage you to lift your eyes toward the heavens to lift your eyes toward the mountains to see that in the invisible realm in the spiritual realm which is more real than the physical there's a host of angels Compared to your enemy that you can see with your eyes, which is your circumstances, the Lord is mighty and he is victorious. And the way to access this victory, hey Michelle, is through faith. It's through believing God. It's through believing his word. Hey Michelle, it's through knowing that what he says is true. However, every promise he made is an if-then statement. The promises of God are... I, I'm sorry guys, but they're not automatic. I wish that they were. They are accessed by faith through grace, just like our salvation, our healing, our deliverance, anything from God is accessed through faith. And so I wanna leave you with this thought. Hey Connie, hey Andrew, I wanna leave you with this thought. <laughs> Jasper says hello. You know, when you, are, uh, when you are asked to pray about something or when you hear of a circumstance and immediately you begin to move in faith, sometimes people will even look at you funny because they will say, hey, you're not being compassionate to this situation. Hey, you're not, you're not uh, looking at the reality of this, but my word to you today, God's word to you today is this. When you walk in faith and believe God and keep your peace, even through a hard circumstance, you are actually looking at the real reality reality, which is God's word. What you see is nothing compared to his unseen word. And I want to just encourage each of us today. I want to pray over you because I believe that just one prayer of faith will outweigh hundreds of prayers of pathetic doubt. And I am not just talking to you guys. These words go through me first. And the Lord is dealing with me first and saying, April, rise up. Pray in faith. Believe me. It doesn't matter the need. Hallelujah. When you place your need beside your God, your God will always tower so far above your need that your need will become invisible. In Jesus' name, it's called perspective, guys. I love you. Let me pray for you this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the simple word that we are to be people of faith. And it does not matter what our circumstances say. Father God, what our bodies are telling us, what our emotions are telling us, what our minds are telling us, it does not matter, Father God. <laughs> Hey, baby. Because, Lord God, your word is truth. And when we stand in faith, circumstances can be changed. So I encourage you guys today, get out there and encourage someone else to stand in faith. When someone tells you about an awful tragic situation or a huge need, I want you to smile and release peace and pray in faith and teach them through demonstration how to do the same. I love you guys. It was good to be with you this morning and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.